But soon I was 18 and I was still in Fresno. I wanted to get out. I didn't have any money. I went to see my uncle about getting paid for some work that I had done in his office over the years. Now, I could see when I came into the office that he was ready for me. I also could see that he knew my visit was not a routine one. Come on in, come on in. What can I do for you? Well, I'm thinking about leaving town. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You've driven my sister crazy long enough. When are you leaving? <laughs> well, right away, but I don't have any money. You don't need any money. Bums don't need any money. Go out to the S&P and grab a freight, the way all bums do. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you'd pay me. <laughs> pay you? For what? Well, for the work I did for you. Work you did for me? This place has been like a college to you. You should pay me. Uh, what kind of man are you? A great man, not a jackass like you. I, I work for you. Well, you shit, that's what you did. Ugh. Every bit of money I have given to my mother. Oh, that little girl has been driven so crazy by your foolishness. You want to be a writer. You want to be a writer. Make money, put it in the bank, and write checks. That's the kind of writer I am, not some stupid poem writer. <laughs> the moon is sinking in the sea. The moon is sinking in your empty head. That's where the moon is sinking. <laughs> well, suddenly, I thought of my father. Armanac of Bitlis, the failed poet. My uncle was right. Who wanted the moon is sinking in the sea? Who wanted any part of it? <laughs> this was America. This was California. This was Fresno. This is the real world. And the stuff I was sending out, it was bad. 